Hi everyone, it's April Garwood from Banana Moon Studio. Today I'm working on a baby sweater and this baby sweater has what we call a raglan sleeve. So a raglan seam on your sweater kind of comes from the armpit diagonally up towards the neckline of the sweater. My sweater doesn't have one of those but, um, but I'm going to show it to you here in just a minute. I am at a crucial point right now in the construction of the sweater and it's probably the most complex part of it so I wanted to go ahead and make a video of that so that I could show you what it looks like. So I'm going to turn this camera around and show you how to do the very first round of the yoke of this bottom-up raglan seam sweater. At this point I have just finished the last round of the sweater body I have my two sleeves already constructed here. Um, one of the steps that needs to be taken at this point is to make sure that I have um, some stitch markers in crucial places. Where to put those stitch markers will be in the instructions for the sweater. Um, but anyway, so there's going to be a few stitches that, that get skipped in the underarm. And so the two stitches between these markers, those are the ones that are going to be skipped. But these two stitches that I've marked, this is um, these will be some important points where I'll be stitching. And so I have them on that side, and I have them on this side as well. Also in the instructions is where to place stitch markers at the uh, top edge of your sleeve. And they're going on either side of the join. For this size, I'm just skipping one stitch on each side of the join, and then I'm placing my markers here. And then my, my other sleeve is similarly marked with some of my fun stitch markers. So anyhow, so placing those stitch markers correctly is going to be important. The instructions will tell you um, to look at your piece with the right side facing. And then it will give you numbers for the stitches that you want to place markers in. So you'll start counting here um, just to the left of the join with the right side facing and go around and place your stitch markers. And same for the sleeve, you're gonna look at the right side and you're gonna have number, like a number for a stitch, like in this case, the second stitch. So it'll be the second one to the left of the join and then you'll count around and there'll be one here. Okay, so placing stitch markers correctly is gonna be important. So at this point, I'm ready to do the first uh, round of the yoke. So I'm going to chain two that's my turning chain and then turn and I have my um, all of my pieces I'm going to be looking at with the wrong side facing I'm going to start by stitching across the first half of the back I'm working in half double crochet stitch so that's what you'll see me doing here Okay, now I'm to the marked stitch. So I'm gonna go ahead, this round, I'm just going to do a regular half double crochet at this point. So I'm just gonna take the marker out, do my half double crochet stitch, and put the marker back in the new stitch. And the instructions and the notes say, you know, to move M is what we abbreviate this as, which stands for marker, move M up as you go. Okay. So at this point, I'm ready to attach one sleeve. I have to be looking at the wrong side of my sleeve, which means I'm gonna be looking at it this way, not this way. So I wanna be looking at the inside. And I honestly, I always find it a little bit confusing to figure out which way to go here, but I'm gonna be stitching around this sleeve. And as we know, um, we always stitch 
starting on the right and moving to the left. If I did that here, I'd be stitching across my join. That's not what I want. So I'm going to use, this is the first one I'm going to stitch into because this is the one where I'm going to start here and stitch left around the sleeve. So I'll take this marker out, but keep in mind, you know, where I am, kind of keeping my finger on it. All right, get my hook that's here in the sweater body. I know that I'm, um, this is my slip stitch here and this is first stitch and second stitch. So that's, that's where I'm working is into the second stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and take this that I was working with and yarn over because I'm doing a half double crochet stitch and then I'm going to put it in this second stitch of the, oh, that, that way, second stitch of the sleeve and just go ahead and do a half double crochet stitch right there into the sleeve. And then I'm going to just half double crochet all the way around. Oh, but I need to put my marker back in. It's going to go into the first stitch of the sleeve, which is right here. Okay, so now I'm going to stitch all the way around the sleeve. Well, almost all the way around the sleeve. Okay, now I'm to the next marker. I'm going to go ahead and half double crochet in that stitch. And then place my marker in the new stitch that I just made. Now, because I've just done the stitch in this marked stitch, it's time to go back to the sweater body, which is down here. And I'm going to stitch into this marked stitch. I'm just about to start working across the front of the sweater. And the front of this sweater is ribbed. It has post stitches and half double crochets. And really, it makes this pattern very, very complex to write and read if I try to specify what stitch to do where. So in these instructions, I'm just saying continue in the established pattern, which if you've already worked the sweater body, you'd be familiar with, but basically it involves putting um, post stitches into post stitches and half double crochets into half double crochets. Because I'm on the wrong side of the fabric, I'll be doing back post double crochets so I'll be coming in from the back of the fabric. So I'm going to do a back post double crochet here and a half double crochet here. And I alternate those across the front of the sweater until I get to the next marked stitch.
I've reached my next marker. So I'm going to take this one out. And this is the one that the marked stitch is a half double crochet stitch. So I'll go ahead and half double crochet here. If it were a post stitch, then I would put a post stitch in it. Put my marker into the new stitch. <clears throat> and now it's time to attach the second sleeve. So I'll take a look at the wrong side of my sleeve. I'm going to start in this marked stitch. So I'll take this one out and just remember where I am here. And I get this ready. Okay, so I'll yarn over here and and place my hook here where I had my stitch marked. Oh, I have to make sure I get my yarn over in there. Half double crochet here and put my stitch marker back. And then half double crochet all the way around the sleeve. I've reached my next marked stitch, so I'll pull this marker out. Half double crochet there. Place my stitch marker back in. Okay, and since I have, <coughs> excuse me, just stitched into that uh, marked stitch, I'll yarn over and come back to the sweater body. So it's after working into those marked stitches, or at the points where you work into those marked stitches that you're changing between the sweater body and the sleeve. And then I'll have double crochet across the other half of the back of the sweater. And then I'll join to the first stitch with a slip stitch to finish the round. Now I want to lay this out so I can kind of show you what what happened and all of that. Um, it can be a little bit hard to visualize. You can see now this is the back of the sweater. The front is laying down here and you can see how now this sleeve is attached right here at the underarm and this sleeve is also attached right here at the underarm so what i did in the process of all that is i worked across half of the sweater back and then i started on the sleeve and i worked all the way around the sleeve and then i worked across the front of the sweater and i worked all the way around this sleeve and back and then i joined 
And so in the process of doing that now, my sleeves are attached. And all of the remaining rounds for the yoke are going to do essentially the same thing, but there will be decreases making a line here and making a line here on both the front and the back that will bring it up to form the necklace. So I hope that this has helped you. Um, as soon as this pattern is available on my website, I'll have a link in the description box for it so you can find the pattern on my website. There's also going to be a, um, a link in the description box to my website where you can always find my latest and there will be a link to subscribe to my newsletter which is twice monthly. Um, let's see, please remember to like, subscribe, share, and leave me a message in the comments about what you would like to learn or what patterns you're hoping to find. And I hope that everyone has a lovely day. Bye.